Welcome back to Roy Drive, the driving instructor. Subject here we're discussing is driving anxiety. And I have this question I have to address. I am 26 years old. Passed my road test when I was 17 years old, but I have not driven since then. Now I'm afraid to get back in the car and to drive as I did when I was 17 years old. Is there something wrong with me? You know what I'm going to tell you? No, there's nothing the matter with you. 26 years old is a prime of your life, a time when you can actually do anything that you want and become anything that you want. Nothing can stop you at that particular age. So, if you wish to begin to drive now, this is a beautiful time to do it because first of all, you're mature, you understand risk, and compared to being 16 or 17 years old, you have a better opportunity to drive in a safe, courteous, legal way, because you're more mature. Now, why is it that you waited so long to drive? There could be many reasons, but usually as in all encounters uh, with anxieties, it has a case, it has a background of relationship with someone you know or knew parents friends uh, so if you're 26 and you have not driven since you passed your road test most likely after you pass your road test you never did get back around the wheel the day afterwards or you did not have the opportunity to get back behind the wheel and drive the day after and because the person that owns the vehicle or has the vehicle may have said to you, well, I don't think you're ready to drive yet. We'll wait a bit longer. And then you wait longer and longer. You go to college, finish college, come home, and the, you don't have an automobile, and the person who has the car says to you something like, for example, you know, that's the only car I have. If you crash that car, I won't be able to get to work. I can't do my errands. This degrades your self-esteem. Being that you have a driver's license, the DMV examiners who tested you gave their approval that you qualify as a good driver. Not as a great driver, experienced driver, but you have all the fundamental skills. So someone who has an automobile that you don't necessarily own yet, because when you are 17, uh, 18 years old, you would not have purchased your first car. You're usually going to use somebody else's car until you're ready to purchase your own normally. So therefore, why is it that you have, you're reluctant to get back behind the steering wheel? Now, being that I don't know who you are, I am not in front of you, you're not in front of me, I cannot answer that question directly. However, what you should do is what I've given many people advice on before is get in the passenger seat, observe the person who's driving, put yourself in their shoe. If you were driving the vehicle, would you be doing what they're doing given that they're driving safely? And if they're not driving safely, what would you do to rectify that? Not sure about that situation or that uh, state of mind that you might be in, ask them. So don't just be a passenger, be an active participant. I don't mean you should be a backseat driver, that's very different. So I don't want you to be critical of somebody else's driving because everyone is an individual. They're gonna drive the way they naturally feel within the rules. But you should be actively participate in, in the driving experience so that you get something out of it. So don't just sit and be a passenger and look out the windows. No, you want to be actively participating in every aspect of the driving so that when you get behind the steering wheel and the buckle up, that same 
mentality, that same uh, understanding that you built up from being a passenger now takes hold and you're going to simply implement it. You're going to execute what you saw and observe from your perspective according to the rules. And that's how you start. Thank you, thank you, a thousand thanks to you.